This is the summary overview video for the first assessment task, class participation and engagement. This video is part of a three-piece package of information for you. There is the video, there is the PowerPoint file, and there is a supporting Word document. These are all located on your Wattle support site, and they're in a folder. So for better organization in the 2021 season, all the files will be tucked away into folders. Please click on the folder, expand the link, and you will be able to access the additional information that is present in the Word document. So with participation and engagement, my expectations for the 2021 season are that it's going to be worth 20 points in total. It will encompass the whole of the season. So it is a whole of semester task rather than a series of one-off incidents. And it's a two-part aspect. It is both participation and engagement. It's not just attendance. It's not just show up in a forum and post you two to post your two posts and clear off again. It's about being part of the subject and being part of the community of the subject. In the marking criteria that are available in the Word document, you will see that one of the features of the top end grade is the qualitative judgment that the course would be worse off in your absence. So engagement is a leadership and followership role. It's about being present, participating, but also making a contribution that is distinctly you and yours that enriches the overall subject. Now, in terms of capturing this data, this is one of my more challenging things to mark because you can score points through forum posts, being part of our Zoom sessions, contributions to the subject overall. Uh, there are a couple of self-evaluations of judgments of how you think you're progressing in the semester. If we run tutorials, they count towards the participation engagements. Creating opportunities for others, supporting others, being present in the forum, being engaged in our Padlet support systems. All of this is about rewarding active engagement with the subject through multiple channels. And the reason why we do this is that it's part of the learning outcome and it is part of the idea of integrating marketing knowledge into online experience. And this is the idea that we're going to give you some life integrated learning and some work integrated learning in being part of an active online virtual community through the e-marketing subject it's a practice and training round to be able to find out what style suits you. How do you want to approach your online presence in the future? Now, some of the more direct how question is obviously the live learning events are going to give one channel by which you can score points. So if you are coming to the seminars, and your plan is to basically sit with the camera off, the mic off, uh, not at, participate in the breakout rooms and effectively treat it like you were watching a video but doing that video in real time. I don't think you're going to have any fun, but also you're not going to really be engaged in the event. So in a live learning event, it's not just about when we're in the major in-center in-group discussions, it's about the breakout rooms as well. It's about being there and being part of the whole show. Same way for the forums. You will score points or you can score points for how you interact in the text-based forum. And that comes from both leadership and followership. It comes from being part of when we run events or activities, being part of that, but also the way in which you conduct yourself, the way in which you engage with the overall operation of the forum. We have an additional aspect, uh, which are the week in review padlets, 
and those will also count. So at the end of the, each week, there's the opportunity to look back, reflect, and discuss what worked, what didn't, what you know, what you would like to know. Being part of those, not just posting up your own thoughts, but engaging with your thoughts of others on there. So it's a twofold thing here. You gotta create the content, but you gotta to react to the content as well. And lastly, we will run some self-reflection exercises across the semester, and they will help you also find that as you get involved in things like preparing your ePortfolio and you start working through that or you're making contributions to the course uh, or you start suggesting content or you find a great reading and you share that with your mates, those sorts of things lead to greater engagement. So they're your indirect methods. The other important thing to understand is that not everyone's going to have the same style and one of the aims I have for this task is for people to find their style. Are you the kind of person who leads off the conversation? Are you the kind of person who follows up? Are you the kind of person who comes in a couple of days late, reads the threads, draws things together? A good team has a range of roles and it's also possible to switch roles. You may find that some weeks you're up front creating the content, other weeks you see a real opportunity to capitalize on something someone else has said and you switch between a lead role and a support role. It's about finding what works for you. So the brief summary rubric of which there's more detail in the accompanying Word document is if you're scoring below 50%, we will probably need to talk, we'll need to help you out. There will be a couple of points during the semester where we will have a review opportunity. Uh, around the mid-semester I do a review of opportunities where I look at what it is you've engaged with and give you sort of my sense of how well you're picking up the or making use of the engagement opportunities and you have your own self-review which is your sense of do you think you're getting the best out of these platforms? Is this, are these different channels that you could use to engage and participate, are they working for you? So there's a staff side engagement and there's a student side engagement review. So hopefully we can avoid people landing in uh, the course correction element. Uh, look, it's 20 marks. I know that some people will look at it and go, well, I wasn't going to score that highly in the first place. I respect that. If that's what your choice is and you want to run the minimum viable performance, walk away with 10 points. Good. That's your choice. You can do that. You have the freedom. You probably won't have as much fun with the subject as you could, or you may find that it's one of those things you get to the end of the semester and go, well, I got, I pulled the minimum viable performance and participation and engagement, but I didn't really enjoy the subject and I didn't get much out of the subject because you, know, you didn't put much in. That's a fair trade. Uh, the mid two tiers are all about being there, being part of it, doing things that are useful. Uh, sustainable performance really is about you kicked off or whether the time pressures get to you. You do well at the outset or there are peaks and clear peaks and troughs. Consistency over time is one of the things that we're going to try and teach you as a trade skill and life skill out of the subject. So we're going to reward people who are part of the community across the length of the semester and not just sort of showing up for bursts periodically in between. But effective bursts periodically in between will still get you around, you know, a sustainable to valuable. To pull off excellent and above, you're going to need to be engaged over time consistently and also with each other. So whilst you're going to get a solo score at the end, it's a team effort and the more you create opportunities for others to engage around with you and participate with you, and the more others do that for you, the better chances you have of those top scores. So that's the brief 10-minute uh, overview of the assessment task. If there are any further questions, uh, you can get me on email, you can book an online consultation, or you can try and catch me on one of the social media platforms. Otherwise, uh, we will discuss this further in the classes over the season. So 
See you on the seminars. Mm-hmm.